Hey shooters, welcome back to the Shooters Resource Channel. Today we're going to be looking at two of my favorite AR-15s, starting with the Daniel Defense DDM4 V7. It's a great AR uh, gun. I've got an individual review on it, as well as the BCM Recce series. And since I released both of these videos, I've had a lot of you reach out and say, can you do a comparison video? Tell me which gun you like better. So I took this opportunity to make a short video to show you the differences between the two. But before we get started, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button, support the channel. All right, for starters, I wanna talk about the biggest divider between these two. Traditionally, it's been price. I've noticed that on average, the Daniel Defense runs a few hundred dollars more. You know, depending on the deal you find, you might get it for one to two hundred dollars more than the BCM, but traditionally it's been more expensive. I think that that cost disparity has narrowed over time. All right, let's look at some of the things that are different about the Daniel Defense weapon system. The first thing would be the ambi safety selector, as well as just ambidextrous features in, in general. Uh, coming standard on it is the ambi charging handle. The BCM platform offers several different charging handles. Approximately all of them are offered in an ambi option, but they're also offered in a non-ambi option. So depending on the model that you buy, you may or may not get one. Next up, Daniel Defense provides a foregrip. Some folks like the foregrip, others don't. They even provide the foregrip on some of their shorter barrel options, which may or may not be legal unless you have a class three weapons permit for that gun. So uh, just be cognizant of that. It is nice to get the foregrip. That saves, you know, 30, 40 bucks, depending on what you wanna go with. But, uh, you know, just also bear in mind, legally, you may not be able to have that, depending on the length of the barrel and whether or not your weapon's considered a rifle or a pistol. Daniel Defense has also got a unique rubberized uh, grip system on the pistol grip, as well as the butt stock. And I really like it. It's very comfortable. It's different than some of the aggressive texturing that you're getting today. It's not as abrasive to the skin, but it still suits the purpose. I think it's just user preference on whether or not you, uh, you appreciate it over other options available. Now on the stock, I would give credit to BCM for having a stock that's easier to manipulate. It's got a larger lever for changing position. However, the Daniel Defense isn't really difficult by any means. I just would say that the BCM is a little easier to uh, manipulate. I would also note that both have a storage compartment in their pistol grips. I would say that I like the BCM a little bit better just because it seems to be more secure when it closed. But these compartments are great for hiding away additional batteries for your flashlight or for your scope, the red dot. Also for any tools you might need to remove your scope or to uh, address attachments or anything on your AR. All right, next up, let's get to performance. For both of these guns, I've spent the majority of my time from zero to 300 yards. And I've done a multitude of different tests. I have not sat down and done like extreme accuracy tests like what I do with my bolt guns. All right, shooters, next up, let's try 75 yard hits offhand, followed by 180 yard hits offhand. It's just not something that I'm really interested in with guns like this. But I will tell you at 300 yards, you know, hitting an 8x8 piece of steel with either gun is very easy. You can expect anywhere from one to two and a half or so MOA out of either one of these guns, depending on your ammo selection. Uh, how you're shooting the gun, how well you shoot, but uh, I've seen groups, you know, around hovering around that one and a half MOA uh, range for both of these rifles. So I've been very impressed. Most of my shooting, though, with my AR platforms is just not that way. I'm trying to do a lot more dynamic drills. I do a lot of standing and shooting at distance. So I like the idea of being able to shoot out 100, 200 yards while standing and hit a 12 by 12 inch piece of steel. I also uh, enjoy running and you know getting into different positions, uh, using cover and those types of things. And both guns are again about equal in weight, equally balanced. So 
They're both very easy to do uh, all of those things with. It's nice that both guns come with a mid-length gas system. They're very, uh, both of them are very soft shooting, have no problem running them fast. When it comes to reliability, both of these guns are, you know, spot on. They are considered industry standards for reliability. Uh, both have chrome line cold hammer forged barrels that are HP MPI tested both for their bolt carrier groups and their barrels, which is high pressure testing and magnetic particle inspected, which is a mil spec standard. One difference too is just handrail design. Uh, that's probably one of the major differences looking at these. And I say major, not really. It's just kind of how the handrail is attached uh, to the firearm. Daniel Defense uses a four bolt system and uh, it's pretty robust. I really like it. Uh, I have had no problems with any shifts of zero for any type of optics that I put out on the rail. I expect this handrail to be very robust. I've seen a lot of tests on it and stuff. I've never had any problem out of it. And it is the same for the BCM. I've had this gun for a few years now. I am running a IR laser on it and it is holding zero, no problem. Uh, the gun is just solid and robust. So. There's no reason to be worried about robustness. Material properties on all the aluminum selected and everything is exactly where it needs to be. So when it comes to reliability, you're not going to go wrong with a Daniel Defense or a BCM. If anybody tells you any different, then, you know, they just must be like the anomaly because, you know, most folks will look to both of these weapons for a reliable platform. When it comes to the QD systems, both are a little bit different. BCM's got their little QD attachment for MLOC or for key mod, and you can buy that, place it on different parts, uh, anywhere where you have a slot or a keyhole uh, to put it. Whereas Daniel Defense, you still need a secondary piece to attach uh, wherever there's a hole on the handguard, and it allows you to put a QD mount there. I think both are equally flexible. Both are pretty much a, a similar in standard design. When it comes to weight, both of these guns are just about the same weight. Really, the options that you put on each gun is what's going to make the difference. You can see here I've got the BCM. It's got quite a bit more going on than the Daniel Defense. This is a gun I've had for a little while. I've got my IR light and laser combo up here. But the BCM 16-inch gun is coming in right at 6.1 pounds. And the Daniel Defense is coming in right at 6.2 pounds. And uh, I think that the Daniel Defense also comes with their handguard. So if you remove that, it's probably identical weight between the two. Shooters, I hope you really enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. Uh, I've done a lot of shooting through both of these rifles prior to making this video. When it really comes down to it, I really don't have a preference. Honestly, price is probably uh, going to be the biggest driver for me. I wouldn't mind having another Daniel Defense or another BCM. If I come across a good deal on either one, or an option that I'm looking for, I'm pretty probable to pounce on it. So uh, if you're kind of on the edge, you know, it really comes down to personal preference. Aesthetics is gonna make a big difference. I think longevity, performance is gonna be just about identical between these two great brands. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, go ahead and take a second, hit that like and subscribe button and support the channel. And as always, thank you all and God bless.